Welcome to Proofpoint's how-to video tutorial series, which is aimed at sharing best practices for configuring the Proofpoint protection server's features and functionalities. This video tutorial describes the basics of logs and reports, and also demonstrates how to configure local logs as well as the sending of logs to a centralized syslog host on your network within the Proofpoint protection server, or PPS. In the following diagram, the log files from the agent systems are periodically transferred to the master Proofpoint protection server, also known as the log database transfer host. The log database transfer host, or config master, loads the log files into the database and maintains several tables. Raw log file data from each PPS system is available for generating reports and can be aggregated into hourly, daily, or monthly formats. The log database transfer host provides the following logs. Filter, Email Command Processor, MTA, Regulatory Compliance, Digital Assets, and Proofpoint Encryption. Navigate to the System tab, Logs and Reports module, Log Settings page. From here, you can configure your basic log settings. The sections within the Local Log Options section apply to the Proofpoint Protection Server's log service. By default, the log file level is set to information. The debug and trace choices should only be selected when requested by technical support to solve a problem, since these settings gather so much information that you may run out of disk space. The Retain Log File for is where you can enter the number of days that you want to retain the log files on the system. Enter a number for the days that you want to retain or keep the log files on the system. This parameter applies to consolidated logs from all the agents for the filtering engines and messages processed by send mail. The settings under the remote log options are for transmitting Proofpoint Protection Server log events to a centralized syslog host on your network. Be aware that depending on the syslog level you select and the number of agents in your cluster, you may see an impact in filter and performance as well as a decrease in available disk space. Select the protocol for communication between the Proofpoint Protection Server and the remote syslog host. Enter the IP address for your syslog host or the fully qualified domain name. For the syslog port, use either the default number 514 or enter a new port number. Next, enable the syslog filter followed by the facility and level. The level determines the log level that you want to capture, whether it's emergency, alert, critical, error, warning, note, information, or debug. You will also have the option to enable your syslog MTA. Once the information is complete, click on the Save Changes button. Thank you for watching our brief how-to video tutorial on how to configure local logs, as well as the sending of logs to a centralized syslog host on your network within the Proofpoint Protection Server, or PPS. For additional information on our products, visit our knowledge base at https colon forward slash forward slash www.proofpoint.com forward slash community. For questions, comments, or feedback on this tutorial, please email us at training at proofpoint.com.